we have just got confirmation that Black Widow has been moved to November. So it's been moved to the internal spot. And the internals is kicking off 2021 in a February release date. And then they had to move Shang-Chi to the summer and so on and so on and so on. So what kind of effects could this have? So obviously all the movies are being moved back. So this has an effect on the MCU for years. Years! I mean, it's not just one movie being released. Like, if they found a release date, say, a couple months later, or a couple mo months before the Eternals release, we'd all be fine. But now, everything's being moved back. What does this mean for the Disney Plus shows, though? I mean, they are part of the MCU, and they're meant to be directly connected to whatever movie. They are connected to, so one one division has a huge effect on this because one division was is its release date was supposed to tie in to Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness, thus it being released in twenty twenty one. But now it's being released in early twenty twenty, so but it doesn't connect very well because. Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness is going to have a later release date, which is a problem for the Disney Plushers. And what about the other Disney Plushers? They're also directly connected to the MCU. Will they be moved back? Falcon and the Winter Soldier, how will that be affected? Loki, I mean, Loki might not be affected since it's alternate universe. And even though it's part of the MCU and directly ties into it, it's not tying into one specific movie. So it should be fine. And the Falcon and the Winter Soldier should be too. But One Division, there are plenty of complications for One Division, as I discussed before. So if everything moves back, the Disney Plus shows, the movies, everything, it all moves back. We have a problem for years. I mean, this isn't just, uh, let's tweak some stuff there and it's all better. No. This has a complication in the MCU for years. Since it's all connected, everything needs to be pushed back. Everything. I mean, even if they just straight up cancel Black Widow, it's part of the MCU. And probably has effects, even though it's a prequel still will have effects on the movies to come. So that would also screw it up. There's no way to do this without messing it up unless Black Widow was released on Disney Plus. And yes, I made a video about that. Click the card to, you know, watch it. Anyway, this could have complication for years and I have no idea what we would do about it and marvel obviously just has no idea either and they're just pushing everything back and if disney plus shows get pushed back i'm going to be mad we're all going to be mad but it might be for the best so here's what i think they should do what if they should either find a new release date for black widow which is earlier in the year slightly a couple months so it doesn't take a eternal spot or Release it on Disney Plus. Financially, not a good idea. Again, card. So, what are they going to do? Well, right now, according to news, they're pushing it back. So, they're pushing this back, and we can't do anything about it. We're just going to have to, you know, wait longer for an awesome movie we've been waiting for since Black Widow first appeared. And we're also going to be having to wait longer for all the other movies. That's all for today's video. Hope you enjoyed it. Lego Spider, out.